Okay, Jim, I got the steam donkey running here. A nice fire. This is a really large wood that you can put in there, 18, 19 inches long. Nice fire. It's taken about a half an hour to get it up to that. And that's at about 60 degrees. And uh, a couple features, you know, always keep your water. I always put this, you know, about a little above halfway on your boiler sight glass. You will need steam oil for the oiler. I, have, I will ship it full. These knobs, I just turn them maybe a quarter turn open, the one on each side. Uh, back to this one. This is your draft to an ash pan. And uh, of course, your tank will have water in that. You can just plug a hose right in here. I put some new brass fittings on these two points here. And uh, of course, your hand pump is right here. And it's pumping right into the boiler right now from this tank that's inside the box. <clears throat> uh, this is your fill here for just plug out garden hose in on it. This is your boiler drain over here on this side of it. Can't get around the front of it too well there. Just turn that on. It's a good way to blow it down and to drain it when you're done using it. And also, you want to have this drain completely. Take off this union here, so all the water comes out of the pump so it doesn't freeze. So there's no water in it, so it doesn't freeze. And, and same with inside these pipes. So the engines are running great, fired right up as soon as they turned on the steam. I'll do that now. Again, throttle is right here. I'm going to get up on the trailer. I'm just going to have it going slow here. Right now I've got the pet cocks open down here. You need to close those. See how much better it runs. And on this engine as well. You could always do that when you first start it because there's water in the engine and if it gets trapped in there it can break a piston. It's unlikely but it could happen. So um, clutches are right here. Crank this in. And you can notice that one starts moving. I, I, I don't have the cable out. This is the haul in or haul out. Um, brake bands are here. The brake clutch, brake uh, mechanism is right here. So you can see that one moving. Uh, a lot of grease points on it that are important. There's 500 feet of cable on each one. The so one to haul in and one to haul out the hook. Of course, here's the hook. hook. I get a chance I'll haul something in here. Uh, whistle is great. I put a new pop-off valve on it. That's a test valve there on the pop-off valve. Just to make sure it's going to work fine. I'm going to remove that. And I'll remove this one as well because I uh, was just testing the whistle. It doesn't leak. This is your blower. And the great gauge works great. Yeah, it's really good. I hate to part with it, man. It's been a beautiful running engine. Just uh, would be a lot of fun to operate it. I'll blow that whistle here.
beautiful. That's a two inch, two and a half inch, three chime whistle. Great. This is kind of a, an emergency oiler. You stop the engine, turn off the steam, and you can plug a oil can into here and get oil into the cylinder right away that way in case you run out and start the engines start making noise when they get dry. So I guess that's about it. Always have water in it before you start a fire, that's the most important thing.